So uh, the first thing is each agent gets set up as a customer in here uh, because uh, what we're going to do is uh, they're really bringing in the business, so we've got to set them up first in here as a customer. And we're also, uh, if there's any other information we need to track on that agent, so uh, we utilize a lot of different fields, not necessarily uh, setting up custom fields on this money servicing client uh, that we set up uh, using a similar methodology. And uh, just to back up a little, we were again in the situation where we had to generate reporting for another country uh, because uh, their parent company was in Brazil. So they were on, I believe they were on SAP, and that SAP system uh, and the way they report in Brazil was completely different than U.S. GAAP. So uh, this just takes it one level further, but this shows how you can kind of get creative is uh, we created uh, control accounts in the chart of accounts and sub accounts um, that were the Brazil accounts to hide because they do things that uh, they consider off balance sheet that we have to record. So that way we could net it out when we had to create the reports for them, but then uh, we had them show for US. And again, we could use the Intuit statement writer to manipulate all that information. Uh, so it's just a way when you're thinking about that. We also, uh, their chart of accounts were a lot different and it had a lot more numbers in uh, the SAP system for Brazil than what they were using in the US. So we used uh, additional fields in the chart of accounts for the Brazil number and we used that to generate the reports for Brazil and then we had our um, account numbers for US in there as well. So we were dual doing everything in here while we were setting this up. 